we're here at Bristol House to have this workshop about symbiosis in the microbial world, uh, from ecology to genome evolution. And, and we're really working across a continuum of both microbial interactions and scale. What we've tried to do really is bring together researchers from very diverse corners of the, the field of, of symbiosis. And oftentimes in the field, it's difficult to get people to speak the same language. And so a, a big part of this really is putting people in the same room and discussing their own fields in the sense of cross-fertilizing one another. I've enjoyed each and every talk that I've heard, and it's been very mind-expanding. And the venue is extremely intellectually supportive. And that makes a huge difference at a meeting. The talks have been great. People have done a really good job of explaining their systems well to a broader audience. It's been really cool having some big names here because they're sort of heroes or, you know, almost mentors of mine. And so it's really nice to get to interact with them kind of on a level footing. We sit with different people every evening. We have these beautiful meals prepared for us. And so all around from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, it's just been a fantastic experience. I think what's been really incredible about this workshop is that uh, it has absolutely no hierarchy. So everybody's been given a slot, same slot, equal length of time. Uh, and I think it's actually really broken down the traditional barriers between postdocs, young PIs, senior PIs, and I think it's actually made a big difference. I think one of the main things that I'll take away from this workshop is the way different ideas fit together from different fields, from microbiology, from ecology, from genetics, and they all relate to this central theme, which is symbiosis and microbial communities. Symbiosis research is alive. It's actually blooming. Um, I'm very happy to see a gifted young generation of junior researchers being engaged in that. I see novel technologies um, which are now uh, available. And uh, I see also the demand that we have to move now in the time of big data from correlations to causality. This is a frontier field that we work in and its development will be largely in the hands of the junior people and uh, to have them uh, in this group has been really exciting. Sometimes you go to workshops and it just, you know, people speak at one another. But this, I'm, I've been very impressed with, with how much of a workshop this has been. The workshop, I would say, has been a spectacular success. I've chaired a few of the sessions and it's been difficult to draw the question and answer sessions to a close. So there's no doubt there's been a lot of buzz uh, during the, the talks and question sessions and at the poster session and at the coffee breaks. So absolutely, it's been a, a wonderful success. We can see even from more senior researchers that they're, they've been very excited about this uh, because I think we've managed to put together people who usually don't overlap that much. So I think both for young and also more senior uh, researchers, it's been really uh, enriching. To be able to have the opportunity to do a workshop in this, in this environment is very stimulating, even for people that have done hundreds of workshops or symposiums in their, in their life. We've heard yesterday that from a very established uh, professor that she will remember that one. So that's <laughs> for us, early career researcher putting together first workshop, it, it, is, it is very, very good to hear.